Hello, everybody. It's Carl. Welcome to Aeronautica. <laughs> Just a moment ago, a new update has been released. Version 1.148. Oops, emote button. <laughs> Feel free to pause the video to read the update notes. All right, so there's a new license called <laughs> Vertical Takeoff and Landing Craft. So there's the the, AW, <laughs> the AW609, there's the V22 Osprey, and there's the <laughs> F35B, and then there's some <laughs> Yakovlevs. I'll we'll have to... <laughs> Ooh, orange is here. <laughs> I should uh, put a print screen on this one as an alternative to the update notes. All right, then, let's. Print screen, this one, two, and the rest are just curated liveries. Right, let's start this off by joining which is which. <laughs> oh, it's that harmonica. Right, let's join Orange. Oh, we got a badge! <laughs> oh, <laughs> right, so here's the <laughs> in-game version of the update notes. Alright, so I've just opened the application, so we'll start from top to bottom. Alright, so <laughs> before we'll do everything, let's... <laughs> where do you get the... Uh... <laughs> The, v, the, the vertical takeoff at, uh, at Voyager. <laughs> so you need at least one and a half flight hours in helicopters. That's, yeah. Right, so let's go directly to Voyager. Oh, come on, Orange! And I've put a S-97 there. Oh, what happened to the transparency? <laughs> oh, no, not transparency, the reflectance, it's... Uh... 
Did the S97 become <laughs> so reflective? And it's, uh, it's close to his ear. Right here are the concurrent players. All right, so our final examination. It's just a mere twenty-five thousand wings points. So let's begin. Oh, this is a long one there. So, so we've got a Harrier. And it's a typographical error. Or, yeah, the... It's actually... A should be capitalized. So... Here's the statistics for the Harrier GR5. You can you can you can buy it from Linwood Air Force Base. So service ceiling is almost fifty thousand feet. There we go, we have screenshot for the thumbnail, or for the, <laughs> whatever you want to call it as. All right, so let's check if there's any control changes in here. There's, I guess there's none, so <laughs> I guess so RNF should be the same with the <laughs> VTOL. Right, let's start the engines. Let's head our way to Anhedral City. Let's hold the R key. Um, is the R key working? Ah. Oh, I should, um. I want to make way for this helicopter. All right. <laughs> Let's stand on the helipad. And <laughs> we missed the helipad center. There, let's... Come on, get up. Hover mode is there, so... Okay. Let's race the landing gears and... They haven't changed the controls yet. Tiki. So.
All right. Yeah, never mind the voices behind, so... I think there's some... <laughs> Yeah, there's some background noises there, and okay, we just clipped the... Alright, so the T key is to toggle the flight or the hover mode, so... So you see, it's the hover mode's like the helicopter now, so... Let's, let's turn on the engines. There we go. It needs some polishing. <laughs> now let's climb. around Toronto, so... So either the... Yes, we had to land at uh, the city airport. Should have said transport your vehicle to to Corona City, not Antigua City, because that's that would be the final destination. All right, let's reduce the throttle.
or close to stalling. Okay, we got more Harriers coming in. Lock it to Toronto City. Unknowingly toggled the air brakes, so when do we slow down? So, so the Y key is the air brake. the dash key for the <laughs> smoke. The lightning gear should be animated. <laughs> like the Electra. Junior. So let's now land at the Corona City. break. Alright, let's lower the landing gears. There we go. Lost of fuel remaining. Oh, I forgot to uh, enable the cross-server players. How many more Harriers? Should be a way how to customize your trainer <laughs> before doing the exam. All right, let's refuel this truck. Right, 
Notification says hold. Then continuing on to the next airport. So it should be further south to Ockenburg and oh look at that! That's right, the next one is at Ockenburg and <laughs> All right, let's restart the engines. Let's face the direction of uh, Aachenberg. Let's enable hover mode and then uh, collect them at half speed. And it gears up. Alright, it just stalls once we begin flight mode, so we'll have to get some more air. Oh, what just happened? Level, but we just need to go forward. Let's turn to flight mode, then we'll speed ahead to Aachenberg. Reduce the speed. We'll land at runway one two. Once again, the concurrent players. A 
process of about 20 minutes. Let's reduce. Oh, oh yes, Y key. Welcome to Pseudo Edinburgh Airport. Is it possible to actually recolor your trainer? All right, let's stop at the large fuel tank. There's already a livery on this one. Right, let's head on our way to Anhedral, pseudo London. Let's toggle to hover mode and then.
Alright, so wind sounds 30. Or 3 0. Let me reduce the, reduce the throttle as well as the speed. I should have said reduce throttle to reduce speed. descent into the city airport yes 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 we know it's it's, it's it's rather odd always make the white key the air brake should be T and we have to make the airship controls the R and F it doesn't have to be like the helicopter to nine. <laughs> Landing lights.
Yeah, that's right. Northern has one of my first SR-71 spot from Gaston. That... <laughs> Three of them, to be exact. I still have the very first one. The third one I've traded to Awesome Subscriber. Yeah, the username is the Awesome Subscriber in one word. I don't know what happened to that player, but it still probably has my third. SR-71. And, oh, come on! The taxiway, or... Yeah, it's... This is still a taxiway, not apron. All right, there we are. <laughs> Welcome to pseudo London City and there we go. <laughs> I've earned the VTOL license. And there's a Yakovlev Light Treat Sat. Okay, so I don't think Southwest has Max 9s in service, though. And there we go, that we just. <laughs> there was a Yak Stosrok Odin. And the three shot was them. Guess we can start with the rest of the update.
I don't want to say my data. <laughs> oh, my radar just <laughs> magically teleported <laughs> to Anti Real City, so. Where's Boyga? Good thing I, <laughs> I put this little yacht. <laughs> <laughs> Two at a time. <laughs> okay, so we'll start from this Turango heliport and see what new aircraft can be found here. And here's the Augusta Westland, the L609, the AW609. So what does a a real six oh nine look like? It's aircraft white. So all right. So only the blue text box appears with a different font. So I guess only this one gets. The occasional text box issue, like that. Okay, so color two, just the vertical stabilizer. Let's make that a different shade of white. Color three, the engines. So, okay, it's also yeah. These text box are still bugged. So here's your all six oh nine. Is it on stock? It's not. And there's the L609. We'll go down the list. So the next one is at Linwood, Joint Air Force Base. We'll use this Beluga. And once again, the, the trainer, the GR-5. Aircraft gray. Ah. Let's make this a different shade of gray. TR5. And we have the Bell Boeing V22 Osprey.
could be darker. So V is 22, so 6, okay, so V22, there's your Osprey. Wrong timing. Right, so that was the Osprey and then the TR5. And well, the update note said the GR5 should be sold here at Lineham. Probably an oversight. Alright, so let's teleport to Lernavo. A Konya steamship Lernavo. Here we have the Lockheed Martin F-35B Lightning II. Carrier base multi roll fighter. So let's use aircraft black for this one or aircraft gray. So this is color one. Color two for the vertical stabilizers and uh, color three should be the <laughs> armament. The F-35B. And we have another new aircraft, the Lockheed S-3A Viking. We'll use a lighter shade of gray. So color one is the fuselage, color two the vertical stabilizer, color three the wings. The S3A. And another one here, this is the Northrop Grumman E2D Hawkeye.
the Airborne <laughs> Early Warning and Control variant of the Greyhound. Alright, so color one, the fuselage and the engines. Color two, the vertical stabilizers and the wings at color three. And that's about it for Lernavo. Next one is at Rivensk. So we'll use one of my favorite planes, the B2, to teleport. Here's the Canada Air CL84. Right, so color one is the majority of the plane. Color two and color three is the vertical stabilizer. The Dynavert. All right, is this on stock? It's not a stock. All right, let's now teleport to Leyevetsk. Due to Moscow Shirvetievo. So here's the Yakovlev Yak 38, the NATO reporting name of Forger. Alright, so color one. <laughs> Should be the <laughs> the entirety, or the <laughs> the entirety of the <laughs> fighter. Where's color two? Do we see color two somewhere? It's probably the armament. And color three should also be the arm the armaments. The Yak 3 Sat Bossum. The Yak 38.
Right, so we also have a remodel of the Ilusin Il, Chesses Yatzwa, the NATO reporting name of Classic. So we know what color one is. Color one. Color two, vertical stabilizer. Color three, This should be aircraft white as well. <laughs> the Il Chassis Yacht Dua. The Il 62. <laughs> yeah, the database. All right, they also, Altak has also remodeled the freighter. Here we go. And finally, they changed the <laughs> variant to the correct one from Il Chessesiat F to the expected Il Chessesiat Dua M Gra. The color scheme is basically the same as the classic. Chess yes, Yatoa. Yes, the Il Chess yes, Yatoa M Gra. The Il 62 MGR. Or M Gra. Next, we will teleport to North Ayachev. And the VTOL here, another orange rarity. The Yakovlev Yak Stosorok Odin. The NATO reporting name of Freestyle. Right, so color one is the majority of the fighter. And color two, the tips. And color three is the rest. We'll use the other aircraft gray. It seems worse. The Yak Stosorok Odi.
got 141 or 141. No other rare aircraft on stock. <laughs> At Arthaychev. Right, so the rest of the new aircraft for this update. We'll teleport at Norman International. So we have a blank 78710. And the We begin with this, the newly rolled out Boeing 737 MAX 7. And yet without certification, <laughs> in reality, So, color one, the fuselage, the engines, the wingtips. Oh, yeah, they're, they're winglets. <laughs> yeah, we call them split tip winglets. <laughs> or they call it the split tip winglets. So here's aircraft white. Color two should be the vertical stabilizer. Oh, come on, vertical stabilizer should be. The color two should be the vertical stabilizer. What the heck? And color three should be the wings and come on, why? You put the vertical stabilizer and the horizontal stabilizers. This in color three, better fix that as soon as possible. So let's make a aircraft uh, white or should put advanced customization on the. <laughs> emergency ramp, the wings. But yes, it's a Max 7. <laughs> the not yet certified one. <laughs> or they already certified it. The detailing on the elevator. And here's your Max 7. They're still working on the 700 though, but why the Max first? You should do the next generation or the classic or the original. Now let's teleport to Eisenhart Air Force Base.
for the next aircraft. We'll use the C5 to teleport. And it's another blue rarity. The Boeing Sikorsky <laughs> Ross 66 or RX <laughs> RAH 66. with the Comanche identifier. <laughs> the Comanche. <laughs> and the first stealth helicopter in the game. So we'll use aircraft black for color one. The rotor gets color two. Here's color three, the the horizontal stabilizer, the Comanche. A few minutes to go before daylight. RAS 66. Right, the next one is at Ness Aerodrome, the pseudo Sundberg Airport. Okay, where's Ness? Oh, <laughs> the Sundberg is East Cove, and uh, and Ness is <laughs> Papa Westray. The CMC Leopard. So your color one is the fuselage and engines, color two, the vertical stabilizer and under the <laughs> yeah, under the fuselage and the color three are the wings. The Leopard. We will teleport to Rissoros Regional. We'll use one of the Il Semisatwa, Il 72,
this World War II attack aircraft, the Tupolev Tu Dua. The NATO reporting name of BAT. So the color one is the fuselage. We'll use a military green for this one. Color two, the wings and the horizontal stabilizers. Color three is the the rudders. The two doua. The two two. Get it? Two two. Two doua. Another remodeled plane, the Sukhoi Superjet 100, the 95B variant. It also has access to advanced customization, so we'll have to. So this is color one, vertical stabilizer and fuselage, color two. Where do you put color two? Nothing yet at the moment. And color three should be the wings and the horizontal stabilizers. The Superjet 100. All right, so we'll <laughs> teleport back to Leovetsk. That's where my super chat is. Um, this one. And here's the advanced customization. You can toggle the saberlets. Little wingtip devices. Wingtip devices. You can add a SATCOM. I guess, I guess this is a. Yeah, this should be the color too. And the base variant, you can. Convert it to the not convert. You can uh, you can change the variant to the ninety five long range. And there's also a <laughs> option for the belly UV. That is the. I'm gonna put a, tech, a separate wing. Uh, yeah, a separate ID for this. So the body ID, the wing ID, and there's a third one for the belly. There's your super jet. All 
All right, so let's. Where's that Proteus there? So there's the Mall 281. It's back at Linwood Municipal. And you can convert this to the White Knight, which requires more than 30 minutes. Do I have more than 30 minutes on this? Oh, come on. <laughs> I just did a short while on a featured <laughs> video <laughs> to Linwood. <laughs> I haven't added more hours on this, so we'll just check the database. And the scale composites, model 318, the White Knight. And you know which one is color one, color two, color three. Two is the, the red area and three should be the gray. Model 318. 318. <laughs> okay, so where's my Max 9? Or one of my max nines. All right, we'll <laughs> use this one. I've actually got three of these, two from other players. All right, so this is color one. This should be color two. So the color two. It's the vertical stabilizer and the fairings. Color three, the wings. You can now add the <laughs> the UV map for the belly. That's pretty useful. You can put a satcom. It's plain white. You can also modify the cabin door in the middle. So there's a standard. You can plug it. Yeah, so it's, you know, Alaska. And you can deactivate this so it's no longer a <laughs> it's no longer a window, it's just the extra seat. So there's a standard extra door, the deactivated one, and the plugged. It's just an extra window. Door plug. There's your Max 9. Look at the quality here. It's the. The CFM mentions. Alright, so, where did I put my F-16? It's on Osgard. So we can convert this to the, either the derived variant, requires two hours, and the experimental variant, 
This requires eight hours. And we know that the right variant, that's the Japan Air Self Defense Force. The Viper 2. <laughs> An experimental one. We'll have to use the database once again. Here it is, the General Dynamics F-16XL. Delta Falcon. For comparison, here's the F-16C, and here's the XL. Higher service ceiling, cost of range. Increase stall, yeah, increase stall speed. Yeah, it just gives you a higher service ceiling. The F-16XL. Delta Falcon. So where is the Lightning II Lockheed Martin F-35A and F-35C? So why craft a ball? Why? So here's the F-35A, the standard multi-role fighter, stealth fighter. So it's on par with the F-22, also purple rarity, even though this is the best, this is the better of the... Yeah. And you can also convert it to the F-35C, the, the catapult. Yeah, this is the one that requires the catapult. The F thirty five C Lightning two. And that's all for the Lockheed Martin Stealth Fighters, the F twenty two, the F thirty five A and C, as well as the F thirty five B. So there's a difference in stall speed. And that's about it, it's just only stall speed. Let's now teleport to Kashio. Where's Kashio? Here it is. Well, you see E-175. Hmm. Well, it should be around here, or we'll teleport to Umabutsu then. Will you say us Or US-2. And there it is, we have... This should be Kilco. And we're out of range, so we'll have to use... Uh, yes, we have to go back to Casio. Right, so back to Kashio Airport. Here's the F-2A, the F-16 derivative. And all our way to Kilco. Start the engines.
Now we got a crosswind, so. Thrall to 11. And a wind has changed to 44. Alright, so let's take off from here. Igniting afterburners. There's a new location of uh, Lernavo and her fleet. It's only it's from Atlantic system at Kibo or Kiliko. <laughs> All right, so winds at forty. One was 42, but it's now 41, so. Right, instrument landing system at 1-1. One, one. Air brake, landing gear, crosswind. Still fast. Oh, oh, no, 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 don't let this happen to me. Ah. Okay, there's a patch. Ah. All right, let me let me park my plane at Kibo or Kiliko, pseudo Kiliko.
I'll just park at one of these remote gates. I tried pressing the X key and they can't refuel my plane. Oh, what a pity. So here is Keeble Space Center, the Pseudo Kiliko. <laughs> or where exactly in. <laughs> Is this Kennedy? Oh, because it might resemble Kennedy Space Center, but it's in Florida. But yeah, it should be Kiliko. We'll end flight here. I don't want to save. And what's in the dealership? So much of the <laughs> aircraft here is from from Horomoto. <laughs> That's so. If you're from Horomoto, this one, the Learjet U36. That's from Norman. And the, the U.S. and &E, the P3C from Casio. All right, so let's check one of the 787s. I think there's, we'll use this, well, this one here. <laughs> there's still no advanced customization for the 787, amongst others, Satcom Rolls-Royce engines. Alright, my Soul 707, the updated fan blades, and here's for the 747, still proud of Whitney. Eight eye and for the special performance, and 
here's the 200, it should be around the same. And I think that's it. Of course, the, the H should have the same as the Intercontinental. Also, the Sophia, the same as more Broughton Whitney. And the Cream Lifter. Now for the 757s, the 200, RB211, and the 300, the PDL4000. No spirals. All right. Teleport with the F-15C. Oh, not F-15C. Is it F-15E or... I should read the notes again. Yeah, it should be the E. Yeah, the Strike Eagle. Yeah, that's right, the Strike Eagle. So... There we go, that's the... Extra Sign Winders. More Air Missiles. Drop tank. There's F twenty two A. What is added here? Right, so missile pylons, uh, more missile pylons. I guess we'll toggle the <laughs> missiles with the Y key. All right, that's the F-22A. Let's go back to the database. So we forgot about the 727. There's the <laughs> remade engines. It's 200 and 200. Freighter.
All right, so let's see what is the patch. Let's return to the lobby. Oh, I forgot about the concurrent players. Before leaving. All right, so the minor update. Applying a curie delivery resulting in soft lock. And yes, they have fixed the GR5, being sold at Linwood instead of Lionham. <laughs> oh, there's there's actually two patches. So <laughs> point one would have been either one of these, and point two is the other. Let's uh Let's get to the newest one. Alright, so Kipo uses the Umibutsu music. Alright. Before we before we go, we will oh, this is not the one, it's let's see if there's static aircraft and uh in <laughs> Kilko. Alright, so we got a, uh... They're not carrying deliveries, for some reason. Yeah, just two? All right, that seems to be all, or mostly all of the <laughs> updates shown in this version. And we'll end it here. All right, final look at the concurrent players. And I'll see you everyone on the next Aeronautica video. Dewa mata, sayonara!